Take a group of four people of almost any age. Add four lightweight rackets strung with gut or nylon, one shuttlecock, and enough space to mark off a regulation 20 by 44 foot court. Mix in a certain amount of natural grace combined with acquired skill and the will to win. Put them all together and they add up to one of the nation's most popular sports, badminton. The game, in varying forms, and in many countries, goes back through the centuries. Wherever it was played, it had a fascination for young and old. Around the year 1800, English gentlemen living in India picked up the game and developed it. They brought it back to England, and thus the sport named badminton was born. Women took up the game enthusiastically, and the latest in sports costumes. Rackets and shuttlecocks changed and improved. Badminton clubs began to spread around the world. Competition became keen between individuals, between clubs, and between countries. Badminton has continued as a sport for people of all ages and all walks of life down through the years, evolving in play and even more so in costume into the streamlined game of skill as we know it today. Although speed and stamina are basic requirements for the badminton expert, for those of us who play just for the fun of it, concentration on a third facet can help our game. This third side is finesse. Though the shuttlecock on a smash leaves the racket at about the same initial speed as a tennis ball, badminton skill depends a great deal more on placement of the shuttlecock than on straight force. Badminton can be less strenuous than many other sports when played just for fun and according to individual capacity. Added years may slow them down a step or two, but extra know-how can put the elders way ahead on the badminton court. These are some of the reasons that badminton is a sport suitable for people of all ages. Everybody needs exercise in this age of modern appliances and automobiles. Badminton turns exercise into a real pleasure, and you don't have to be an expert to enjoy it. Today, many youngsters get their start in school gyms. They learn how to hold the racket, correct footwork, and the basic strokes. They find out how quick the action is in badminton, and how sensitive to control the shuttle is. They get to know the size of the court, and the proper height of the net, five feet one inch at the posts, and five feet at the center. A badminton court is divided into segments, the center court, and at each end, the right and left service courts. In a singles match, the player who starts the game serves the shuttle diagonally from the right-hand court across the net into the corresponding section on the other side. If a point is made, he then serves from the left-hand court. As they learn the rudiments of the game, they'll find that using proper technique makes badminton an ideal recreation which they can enjoy for a lifetime. To serve, the shuttle is held lightly in the left hand. Notice that the left arm is extended. Bring the racket held in the right hand around in an underhand motion with the head of the racket below waist and hand as you drop the shuttlecock to meet your moving racket on the upswing. If you're left-handed, just reverse the procedure. Try to keep your movements smooth, coordinating the left and right hand motion so that the shuttle will strike the racket at its center then your service will be true. The 
return of the shuttlecock can be made onto any section of the opposite court as long as it is within the boundaries of the court. Most beginners grip the racket too tightly. Relax. Pretend you're shaking hands with the handle of the racket. Your grasp should be firm, like a healthy handshake, but keep your wrist relaxed. Your grip should be comfortable and at the same time firm. That way you'll have proper control of your racket. Your racket, wrist, and arm should form a straight line as your racket makes contact with the shuttlecock. Finger and wrist control are most important. You'll acquire more delicate control as you get more sense of feeling in your fingers. Keep the shuttlecock in front of you at all times. You'll learn to anticipate the speed and direction of the bird so that you'll be ready in plenty of time to step backward or forward. That shot could have been taken with a backhand stroke. The backhand grip is quite similar to the forehand. The wrist relaxed and your grasp comfortable. Bring the thumb more into the action. A slight slope of your thumb gives you more power when you follow through in the backhand stroke. Let your racket continue forward in a long, flat arc to give the racket head a better chance to meet the shuttle squarely. The stroke should be continuous and follow right through to the net. It won't be long before these young people are moving around the court with grace and skill. Badminton is gaining more and more popularity as a school activity. And because of the small expense for equipment, teachers know that students will continue to enjoy badminton as they grow older and leave school. In most Canadian cities, you can learn the game and play it in a variety of clubs and recreation centers, at church halls, community centers, and your local why. As you progress, you'll learn how and when to use the four basic strokes, the smash, clear, drop shot, and drive. Knowing how is skill. Knowing when is strategy. It's the ability to select the appropriate shot and place it to the greatest disadvantage of your opponent. Of course, he's going to try to fool you too, so you must be ready for his return as soon as you've made your shot. In doubles, you always commence serving from the right side of the court, diagonally across the net into the corresponding section of the opposite court. As long as you can continue to make points, you retain the serve, alternating sides. But the first time you miss, you lose the serve and lose all chance of making further points until you get back the serve. From these beginnings, the rudiments and then the fine points of badminton are learned. These young people are getting the benefit of expert training from a teacher experienced by many years of participation in the game. And now the time has come for these badminton players to put to the test everything they have learned since they first picked up a racket. Now, all the hours of practice all the friendly games of competition at their home clubs begin to pay off. From all across Canada, representatives of each province meet, team against team, to match speed and know-how, to decide who will win the interprovincial team championship. Here, badminton lovers gather to watch their favorite sport at its best. At a typical Canadian badminton club, players from each province compete against each other. The best to be interprovincial champion. A few months from this tournament, the Canadian Open Championships and Canadian Junior competitions will be contested to decide who will be the nation's badminton champions for the current year and who will represent Canada in the international events. There's a kind of awesome quality about this game of badminton. 
Compared to some other sports, badminton might be described as a game of silence. Placement of the shuttlecock is what is important, rather than how hard the player hits it with the racket. Though, when an opening presents itself, a well-placed hard smash should be used. Determination to be the very best, that's what makes a champion. And a badminton champion is no exception. In a doubles match, team play is the important thing. You lose the serve, and you could lose the game. Fifteen points wins a game of badminton, and you're one half of a pair out there, trying to beat the team across the net. So there's no relaxing just because you've got 14 points. The other team can catch you and win. This is no place for a prima donna. The game is the important thing, not the individual. When you watch international champions at work, when you see their skill, stamina, and finesse, you'll realize what experience means and appreciate their technique. This is the ultimate. For international competition, you have to be in top condition, with instant reflexes and a mind that plans moves ahead. It's like a chess game, with the moves played in split seconds instead of minutes. But you don't have to be an expert to enjoy a game of badminton. You can be any age. Whether it's a youngster putting everything he's got into his very first try, or a potential champion using his years of practice towards achieving the highest goal in Canadian badminton competition, it's all badminton. And badminton is fun. And there's the same kind of satisfaction in beating your next door neighbor in a game as there is in winning a Canadian championship. There's the same kind of health-giving exercise in every game of badminton. You don't have to be an expert to enjoy it. You don't have to be a millionaire to play it. Thank you.